this video is talking about the boom. But before we get into it, what exactly was the boom? The boom was a period from 1920 to 1929 as it is also known as the Roaring Twenties, it was because it was a time of lively action where economic prosperity was at a high. The boom started after World War I, when other countries had spent so much on armies and fighting, whereas America, as it was a isolationist country, they did not spend money on fighting, until the very last year of the war. So whilst other countries were spending money on creating their economy back up, America was using it to its advantage where they were making electronical goods for households around the country. Electronical goods that were created in the 1920s such as the hairdryer, the car, the radio, and much more. Here is an advert of the hairdryer. And now a message from our sponsor. Ladies, tired of drying your hair with the same old vacuum cleaner? Try Avon Shave brand new Beauty Locks portable hair dryer. It's smaller, it's faster, it's guaranteed to give you the hair you've always wanted in half the time. Beauty Locks is delicate and dainty just like you. The dryer weighs only a pound and easily fits in your hand. Now that's beauty and convenience. With a speedy motor that will dry your hair in as little as 25 minutes, you can get gorgeous hair without falling behind schedule. Don't worry about the little ones or that pie in the oven. Thanks to an extra long extension cord, you can move around while primping your locks. Forget those long trips to the salon and no more waiting for hours under monster machines. Alvon Shea gives you an easy and speedy hairdo that will blow your man away. Get it now. At Another reason how America boomed in the 1920s was because people could now pay by credit, where it would pay each month, so people could buy expensive things and then pay later. America also boomed because of car manufacturer Henry Ford. He created the assembly line that would move, so he needed workers to work on it, and that meant more jobs in the car industry. Back in Detroit, Henry Ford wondered how he could bring the price of the Model T down to where everybody could buy it. He figured that the more cars he made and sold, the cheaper he could sell each one. And he went to work on this idea. In those days, each car was built from the frame up on stationary wooden horses. There was a different crew for each car, and the same crew stayed on the car until it was finished. That meant duplication of effort and a lot of time wasted. So they tried moving the men from car to car. Each man had a special job to do, and as soon as he finished it, he moved on to the next car and did the same thing there. That was better, but it still took 12 and a half hours to assemble each Model T. Henry Ford watched it for a while, and he had an inspiration. Instead of moving the men past the cars, why not move the cars past the men? Another reason how America boomed was because of a man called Warren Harding. He introduced the Ford New McCumber Tariff Act, which imposed a tax on goods from foreign countries such as Germany. This made foreign goods more expensive than domestic goods and that also encouraged the Americans to buy American products made in America. Although most Americans enjoyed the boom in the 1920s, some people did not experience this prosperity. These groups of people included farmers, black Americans, immigrants, coal miners, shipbuilders, and textile workers. This was because farmers were producing too many crops and couldn't sell them. So prices fell and farmers had to borrow money from the banks to be able to survive. More and more of them got into debt until they eventually had to sell their farms and leave. Many left to go wandering around America looking for any kind of work. Black people also didn't experience the same as many others 
due to the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. They were a white supremacist group who were hating against African American black people. Thank you for watching The Boom by Isaac McGuire.